Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, I welcome you all to our conference. I would like to extend a special welcome to our guests, uh, our allies from all over Europe. I welcome Mr. Mikael Jansson, the Vice President of uh, Alternative for Sweden, Mr. Nicola Rimoldi, the party leader of uh, Massfall from Switzerland, Josef Nerushil, the local councillor of Prague from Freedom and Direct Democracy from Czech Republic. With you and with our most important uh, allies to the west and uh, east of Hungary, the delegations of the Dutch Forum for Democracy and the Bulgarian Revival we want to straighten our alliance here today. With this conference in Budapest, we wanted not uh, only to repay the wonderful invitations to Sofia, Amsterdam, and uh, Stockholm, uh, but also to declare that the parties present here today must lead the creation of a new European alliance. Our parties had almost the same goals and uh, programs even before we had any contact. While I was starting to talk about the Great Reset in my YouTube videos, uh, Thierry Baudet, the leader of uh, Forum for Democracy, wrote a book, which uh, we have just translated into Hungarian and published in Hungary, which is a guiding light for us on the whole Great Reset and COVID stories. While in other videos on uh, YouTube, uh, I was talking about the real motivations behind the war in Ukraine, Mr. Kostadin Kostadinov, opened the eyes of millions of people, not only in Bulgaria, but in other countries as well, with the truth that only uh, he had the courage to speak about. The fact is that not only do our parties have similar programs, but our parties have almost identical histories. We have all been confronted with politicians who, out of cowardice and opportunism, have not had the courage to speak the truth and have betrayed their people and have in fact uh, served our global oppressors. The saddest thing is that uh, these politicians were in our own political communities. We are uh, bound together by the fact that it was us who did not uh, become traitors. We are the ones who refused to lie to our people. We are the ones who refuse to be politically correct. And we are the ones who were mocked and made fun of because they believed they had defeated us. But we proved them wrong. Not only have we survived and are now leading our communities, but we are growing stronger. And this strength can be given a huge boost if we continue to fight not alone, but together. Just as in our own countries we have not become traders, we have not given up our principles and we have not wanted to be politically correct, neither should we make the wrong compromises in European politics. Our duty is to create a new European policy and a new European alliance. One that is more brave and more outspoken uh, than it has ever been before. One that is um, accountable uh, only to God and to the nation, not to some miserable marionette puppets like the European Commission or even the World Health Organization. Here in Budapest today, we have outlined our common goals in a singular, single declaration, which makes it clear to see what we are fighting for. These are historic times. The world is being transformed, a new world order is being created. All the processes that are harmful, harmful to European nations have accelerated. Millions of migrants are flooding the countries of Europe. Censorship of social media is becoming more and more violent and the control, the monitoring and surveillance of people is increasing. There are more and more extreme attempts to destroy families with LGBTQ and other harmful liberal propaganda and to create a completely values anti-traditional world where there are only faceless consumers. The servant of this dark process is the European Union and the army of this dark force of a circle of financers 
who have never been democratically elected is currently the NATO. However, there is also a chance that the current unipolar world order could be replaced by a multipolar world order that is better than the present one. Now is the time to be very vigilant. We want real and radical changes. We do not want to make slight changes to the current system, but still keep serving it. So it's time for us to act. We must be very selective with our European allies, because in these historic times, we have a huge historic responsibility. Here is an opportunity to finally stop the destruction of the Europe of nations. But if we choose the wrong allies, our nations could fall. We can only choose allies who grasp the essence, the roots of this global dark force, who are brave and honest, who are true comrades, who are not afraid, and who cannot be bribed either. We have now invited such parties and such politicians from different parts of Europe, the ones who are showing the way. We are capable of saving Europe from destruction. Future generations will be grateful to us if we create this historic alliance now. Let's go and do it. Thank you very much.